Got a fish. There he is. There's a good fish. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. Alright, let's fish. We got a Guggen bluegill colored spinner bait on here. This reel feels really good, guys, for $17. I mean, can't complain. If... I think a frog is going to be really good today. Maybe a swim jig. Uh oh. Backlash. I'm going to be covered in grass right there. So, I wasn't recording for that. That's a bummer. But I got my first fish on the Kalex reel. It looks like a spawning rock bass. This thing is a beast. Sweet. Just throwing a frog out there. These bluegill are popping at the surface. I think these bass are post spawn. Let's see what we can make happen. That's a large mouth right there. Fish in the shadows right now. Felt something right there. Got one. There it is. Pickerel. Dang. Slime dart. You. You be. Oh, man. Get this guy back in the water. Huh. Ugh. He bit off the back of my tail and then hammered the bait. Come on, where are all the largemouth? Dang. Finally get a parking spot at this spot to fish. Nobody's here to compete fishing with, but the fish, the fish haven't showed up either. It's only a couple baits that work really, really well in here. fish there he is there's a good fish I want to get him up yes now that's a good largemouth right there that's a decent one it's not incredible but I'm happy I got one all right Sweet. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys. 
it is a drop but this uh it's deep enough water down there for this fish the fish will be okay release nice large mouth healthy awesome awesome three fish three species let's see if we can get another one This spinnerbait, guys, is hands down the best spinnerbait to use, in my opinion. If you ever need a spinnerbait to achieve a bluegill profile, a bluegill spawn, and you need a spinnerbait, the Guggenzinger is, in my opinion, the best one. It's a good price. It's affordable. Guys, they don't even pay me to say this. I don't even know if they know who I am. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, that spinnerbait is gone, dude. There goes my last Guggen Zinger. Bluegill color. Just talking about how great of a bait it is. Yes! Break the branch. Oh, I caught a giant stick. Bugs are getting pretty crazy out here, guys. I've got my neck buff on over my face. I think these bass are tight. Tight to that cover. Super duper tight. Got one, got one, got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. Whoa! Look at that crappie. A slab of a crappie for the canal. Wow. He choked this spinnerbait. All right, guys. That is species number four. Not bad. That's crazy. That's crazy. Black crappie in the canal. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. I was about to have him all tangled up in that tree branch. That was fun. Little guy hit hard and then didn't fight at all. <laughs> Maybe it's because I set the hook on him like he was a three pound largemouth. This is a Kitek trailer on there, guys. When they go for it, they really go for it. Vibration in the flash of the blades, bring that fish in. And then the pulsating skirt, the color, plus that Kai, Kai Tech trailer, just bring it home and allow them to follow through and make the strike. Oh, shiza. Tip of the day, guys, when you are bank fishing, and you've got areas like this that just have a ton of tree branches all over the place. Use a shorter rod. I would definitely not be using a seven footer. 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, something like that. Right now I'm using a 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, I just heard you trying to roost some birds. I... I'm tagged out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten in the woods yet. I've been so, my, my babysitter is my wife's 89 year old grandmother and it's too risky this time yeah. during all this. So I've been just sitting home. People always like to stop to talk. It's nice when they're nice. And that couple was nice folks. I am starving, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm getting kind of fat these days, so I'm obviously not starving. This thick boy is hungry. Oh my God, I didn't even feel it. Oh, I barely felt that. Just loaded up. Another crappie. Five fish, four species. And I got me another crappie. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay, cool, 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 no doubt. Let's let this guy go. See you later, dude. Fish, 
fish. Good fish. Good, decent largemouth. All right, guys. Getting into that witching hour. Oh, she's spawning. Look at that. Look at the tail. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get her back in. Sweet. Figured they'd all be spawned out of by now. But I guess that's silly. Coming into a full moon into June. They're, uh, these fish are definitely still gonna come out and have another run of spawners. That is a popular, popular misconception with the spawn, is that it all just happens at once and then that's it. It's kind of spread out over the course of a month or two, depending on water temperature and the weather, of course. Hey, what's up? Uh, I actually caught I caught one rock bass up by the bridge and then a pickerel, two largemouth and two crappie. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, they're biting. <clears throat> I think it's about time we're gonna fish our way back, guys. Give that type of content breathing room and that room is All right guys, I'm back at the car. This is where we're gonna end the video. I caught a bunch of fish, two bass, two crappie, one rock bass, and one pickerel. Pretty good day. What's that, four species? Guys, if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. If you wanna see more videos like this, check the playlist of videos I got set up for you guys right here, or click one of these two videos, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.